Hi, welcome to the Arcade Buffet. We have another 25-inch K7000 repair. This was the stock chassis that I had that I'm fixing for a customer. Uh, it will be going to Chiller on the K-Law forums. This one wasn't too hard. Put a cap kit on it, flyback, reflow. Fuse holder was busted, and a fuse was blown, so I put a new fuse on it and a new fuse holder clip. So, as you can see, it looks fantastic. Ignore the snow. That is my test station. Uh, this has been running for almost a day and a half, so it's been running for over 30 hours. So it uh, passed its burn-in test with flying colors. All controls work as they should. Everything has been adjusted to this tube. It will need to be readjusted when it gets to the its next destination. But the one thing about this one, which is what we're going to do, is he's got a Hantorex Polo down there that is a piece of crap, and uh, it's broken. So he's going to take this chassis and install it on that tube and yoke, which is fortunate because you can replace a Hantorex Polo chassis and use the yoke and the tube no problem. So a little adjustment and it'll look fantastic. But what you got to do is you have to replace the yoke and the degauss connector. Well, I'm going to send them him this kit along with it. He will have to take and splice, or not splice, but cut off the old connector for the yoke and the degauss and take and recrimp these pins onto those wires and then stick them back in the housings. So that's what's going to happen with that and get his game back up and running. So hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or tips or tricks or hints, you need to know some information, leave them a note at the bottom of this video or hit me up at my email, thearcadebuffet at gmail.com or visit my site, thearcadebuffet.com. Thanks and see you soon.